Punjab from Alt News. On October 4th at 12:32 p.m., Rebel AAP MLA Kapil Mishra tweeted that a man from Delhi named Rupesh Paisoya was murdered by Bangladeshi drug mafias because he complained about them to the police. A few hours after his first tweet, at about 4 p.m., Kapil Mishra again tweeted about the incident. This time he posted a video of himself describing what transpired. Rupesh Besoya hamara bhai apne ghar ke samne apne chote chote bachchon ke sath khel raha tha. Tabhi do Bangladeshi drug mafia ke log wahan aate hain aur Rupesh ko goli maar ke chale jate hain. Kya kasoor tha Rupesh Besoya ka? Keval ek kasoor tha ki Taimur Nagar ke aas paas ki jo Bangladeshi basti hai वहां पे जो ड्रग का धंधा खुले आम चलता है ड्रग की मंडी जहां पे लगती है उसके खिलाफ आवाज उठाता था रूपेश दिस वीडियो वाज पोस्टेड बाय कपिल मिश्रा ऑन बोथ हिज ट्विटर एंड हिज फेसबुक पेज एंड आवर आफ्टर पोस्टिंग दिस वीडियो कपिल मिश्रा मेड अनदर ट्वीट दिस टाइम ही रोड दैट ही विजिटेड द फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ द डिसीज्ड एंड ही अगेन रीइटरेटेड दैट रूपेश पैसोया वाज मर्डर्ड बाय बांग्लादेशी ड्रग माफियास फॉलोइंग द क्लेम्स मेड बाय कपिल मिश्रा A CCTV footage of the alleged incident that occurred in Taimur Nagar in Delhi was viral on social media. A lot of people posted this video claiming that the man was murdered by Bangladeshis. They tweeted this by trending the hashtag justice for Rupesh Paisoya. Among the many people who tweeted this video were the ones followed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Twitter. So what is the truth? Was Rupesh Paisoya really murdered by Bangladeshi drug mafias? As it turned out, he wasn't. According to a report in NDTV, the Deputy Commissioner of Police Vijay Kumar said that on 30th September, Rupesh Paisoya was playing with his children outside his residence. when a man shot at him the police arrested three men for the alleged crime the names of these men are ajay akash and suraj according to the police's statement the three accused had gone to taimur nagar to buy drugs this is when they got into an argument with a drug dealer while trying to flee the spot one of the men shot at rupesh paisoya the police also said that they recovered a pistol from one of the accused Another report in the Hindustan Times said that the police were able to catch the criminals after they were involved in a separate crime. The police said that the three men robbed a man of his bike, his gold chain and his mobile phone. After this incident, the police were able to catch the three accused and during interrogation they confessed to be involved in the murder of Rupesh Paisoya. When all you spoke to the DCP he told us that the third person who was arrested Suraj was not directly linked to the murder but was an accomplice. An October 2nd report in the Indian Express mentions that Rupesh was vocal about a rampant drug problem in his locality. He had also filed several complaints to the police regarding this. However, this report like all other media reports and the police statement does not link Rupesh's murder to Bangladeshis. Despite all the evidence available on ground, Kapil Mishra made a serious allegation on camera. Recently, there has been a noticeable increase in the animosity against alleged Bangladeshi infiltration in the country. In such situations, it was the irresponsible for Kapil Mishra to make unsubstantiated claims which were nothing short of fear mongering. Even after the police's statement, Kapil Mishra has not taken down his video and neither has he issued a clarification on the false claims. Mm-hmm.